Jesus Campos, who has worked on the bridge and knows members of the crew who died, said that he was told they were on a break and some were sitting in their trucks parked on the bridge to warm up when it did collapse. Now, we did also hear from Broadcastify. They released the dispatch audio as the boat was drifting toward the bridge and officials were trying to figure out what to do. I do want to play that for you here on Live Now from Fox. I need one of you guys on the south side, one of you guys on the north side, hold all traffic on the key bridge. Uh, there's a ship approaching that just lost their steering. So until you get that under control, we got to stop all traffic. Yeah, we're all on the route to the south side. This is the uh, I'm holding traffic now. I was dragging, but we stopped prior to the bridge, so I'll have all out, out of the traffic stopped. Ten four. Is there a crew working on the bridge right now? Okay, now I'm on the video. Good. Let me stop traffic on this site right now. Yeah, if we can stop traffic, just make sure no one's on the bridge right now. Uh, I'm not sure where. Uh, if there's a crew up there, you might want to notify whoever the foreman is, see if we can get them off the bridge temporarily. 10-4, once the other unit gets here, I'll ride up on the bridge. I have all interloop traffic stopped at this time. Once you get here, I'll go grab the uh, workers on the key bridge and then stop the outer loop. C-13 dispatch, the whole bridge just fell down. Start, start whoever, everybody. The whole bridge just collapsed. Simple dispatch is direct. That's correct. This time. Do we know if all traffic was stopped? I can't get to the other side, sir. The bridge is down. We're going to have to get somebody on the other side, the Anne Arundel County MSP, to get up here and stop traffic coming northbound on the T bridge. C-13, I'm holding all traffic northbound. And again, that was the dispatch audio that was released here by Broadcastify as folks were rushing to get everyone off that bridge. Sadly, we do know that six construction workers at least were on the bridge at the time and did fall into the water. Two bodies recovered and four people still considered missing. This video provided by the NTSB shows them taking part in their investigation as those investigators look to see whether contaminated fuel may have played a role in the ship losing power before then slamming into that bridge. The ship does remain stuck on a pillar of the bridge and officials say it could remain there for weeks. The Coast Guard says the lights on the ship called Dolly began to flicker about an hour into the trip and a pilot and assistant reported those issues prior to the collision. As you heard in that dispatch audio, they did call into officials to let them know we have a problem and then within a matter of a minute or so, that is when the bridge came crashing down.